it's Sarah with Fit Healthy Moms and Saint Fitness and I'm going to show you, or Danny and I are going to show you, our little sugar demonstration that I did a couple weeks ago at an elementary school. Um, I know a number of you have heard me talk about this on the blog and so I wanted to get you the same information I shared with the kids at, that, um, at Lawton Elementary a few weeks ago. So in front of me I have a bunch of different drinks and a Snickers bar um, and I wanted to give you guys a perspective of the sugar content of all these different things and how, what they are relative to each other because I think it's easy to assume and correctly so that there's a lot of sugar in a Snickers, there's a lot of sugar in pop, but we don't really know where all these other things fall in the spectrum and these are drinks that a lot of times we um, consume thinking that maybe they're a healthier option than something like a pop for example. So I'm going to go down the row here and tell you guys some shocking information about sugar content. So I'm going to start actually here with the, sh with the Snickers. If you notice at this end of the table the jars here in front, these all have the sugar content of the item behind them, and it's for the full item, not one serving, but for the full item. So you'll notice the Snickers is the lowest sugar item on the table, um, and actually the sugar and the yogurt are tied, which I'll discuss in a minute, but it's, we assume that candy bars are going to have a ton of sugar, which yes, they do have a lot of sugar, but all these other things here have more sugar than the, the Snickers. Um, to talk about the yogurt versus the Snickers, the yogurt here and the Snickers bar, they have the exact same amount of sugar, 30 grams per item, 30 grams of sugar is a lot of sugar. A thing of yogurt that has 30 grams of sugar, that's actually more than most ice cream has. So I don't know about you, but if I'm going to have 30 grams of sugar, I would much rather get it from ice cream than from yogurt. So a lot of times when people are having yogurt, they're actually not having something that's really healthy and, um, and healthful for them first thing in the morning to get that big sugar rush. A lot of times um, a better option than a traditional yogurt would be a Greek yogurt. Um, or Cascade Fresh is actually a dairy yogurt that um, has a little bit less sugar than your um, than some of the other sugar than some of the other yogurts. Um, so and then plain yogurt versus the flavored. So a lot of times if you look at like your strawberry banana, that's going to have a lot more sugar than just your plain. So you want to look at um, those labels for sure. Next up we have chocolate milk. So many of your children probably have the option to get milk or chocolate milk every day at school. This chocolate milk here has 24 grams of sugar in it. This pop has 30 grams. Uh, I'm sorry. Yes, about 28 grams of sugar per serving. So these have about the same amount of sugar per serving. Now this full bottle has much more sugar in it than this container of milk based on the serving size. But if they were the same size container, they actually have about the same amount of sugar in them. So if your kids are having chocolate milk every day, they're getting a huge sugar rush every day at lunch. You're not really doing them a ton of favors. If you can get them on white milk, that's great. If you can get them on water, even better in a lot of ways. Um, next up here we have Red Bull. So Red Bull has a lot of stuff in it that scares me a little bit. Some chemicals and things to um, enhance energy and it also has a decent amount of sugar in it, about the same amount as chocolate milk. Um, and again, this is a pretty small container. If I were to make this container as big as these, it would be right on par with um, some of these bigger bottles of drinks. Um, next up here we have vitamin water. So vitamin water, because it has the name vitamin in it, we think, oh, it's vitamins, it's gotta be a lot healthy for us, healthier for us than a lot of these other drinks. So it does have less sugar than some of these other things, but it still has almost a half of a jar here of sugar in it. This is a decent amount of sugar, just old unhealthy sugar that has that is not going to enhance your body or your life in any way. So can get, just to get these vitamins, if you have to get this amount of sugar in order to get the vitamins in the vitamin water, um, it's really not worth it. There's a lot of other things you can do to get vitamins that aren't going to have this big blast of sugar coming with them. Also, it's worth noting that, the, um, that vitamin water is owned by Coca-Cola and I don't really feel like Coca-Cola has a really vested interest in keeping things low sugar or super healthy for, the pop, for American consumption so I, it's hard for me to believe that vitamin water is going to be a super awesome healthy option. Certainly better than pop in some ways because it does have some nutritional value but it still is loaded with stuff that you don't need. Next down the row we have orange juice. So. If in terms of quality of calories and quality of sugar, if it comes from 100% fruit, that's a good thing. But the amount of sugar you would get if you were to eat an orange is much less than if you were to drink this whole container of orange juice. This whole container of orange juice has about two-thirds or almost three-fourths of a jar of sugar here. This is a ton of sugar. And yes, it comes from oranges, but that doesn't necessarily mean just because it comes from oranges that it's a healthy source of nutrients for your body because you don't need a ton of sugar blasted into you to, when you have orange juice. So again, if you could ever, if you could eat that full piece of fruit, it's going to keep you fuller for way longer. It's going to give you all the vitamins, but it's not going to give you tons and tons of sugar like the concentrated juice will. Next, we have Gatorade, Coke, and Snapple. All three of these have about the same amount of sugar. They all have about, um, the Gatorade has just a little bit less, but 
for the most part, it's about a full bottle of a full container here of sugar. So we think of pop as being something that's really, really high in sugar, but Interestingly, Snapple and Gatorade are pretty much about the same. So a lot of times we think, well, we'll avoid the pop and grab a Snapple because it's made has fruit names on it, like kiwi strawberry, which seems like it must be healthier, but it's still totally loaded with sugar. So be really aware when you're using um, drinks as substitutes for pop for yourself or for your kids, um, especially for your kids, be really aware of what the sugar content in it is and are you doing them any favors. Um, a good option for not, uh, of course water is an awesome option for no, a no sugar drink. <laughs> uh oh, Danny's eating my camera lady, <laughs> Brenda. Um, so there's um, always water and then there's um, coconut water is another one that's going to have very low sugar, very low calories and give a little bit of flavor. Another thing could be like your sparkling waters. Um, and so you're going to get a little bit of bubbles, a little bit of fizz and then try adding things to your water. For someone who hates water, try adding a little bit of, fr a little bit of citrus juice, cucumbers, all sorts of different things you can add. One last idea is if you're totally addicted to juice, what I tell people is to dilute it. So take like a half of a serving of juice, like a half a cup, and then add water. And over time, try to increase the water content or add a little sparkling water to it so that you're decreasing some of that sugar, but you're still getting the taste and the flavor and the sweetness that you crave. So any questions on sugar, let us know at fithealthymoms.com or Sync Fitness, and we will get back to you and answer all your sugar questions.